And I just try to stand strong. Like, I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and, like, not be there for them. So I just want to always just know, like, I'm still a human, like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me, and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But... Keep being who you are. Keep waking up every day. Keep mo being motivated. Staying who you are. Staying ten toes. Don't back down. And just be confident. Flashback. <laughs> Yo, what <laughs> is this? It's a poster girl's dress? This should look like an American girl doll dress. Yo, put it to your body. Put it to your body. What the fuck? All right, guys, so we got to follow up on the viral story about LSU getting their butts whooped by Iowa in what was a revenge game for Caitlin Clark against Angel Reese, who infamously taunted Caitlin Clark after or doing LSU's championship game in which they won last year. And that drawed a lot of criticism of Angel Reese for her sportsman ship okay and again fast forward a year later caitlin clark got her revenge and now there are more questions about angel reese uh because it seems as if she is boohoo whining and crying playing the victim card uh after the game and i want to talk about it now yesterday in my first video on this i talked about the national anthem controversy in which the LSU basketball team decided to walk off the court before the anthem and the coach came out with probably the most pathetic excuse that I've ever seen in my life for why they did that. Take a look. Honestly, I don't even know when the anthem was played. We kind of have a routine where we are on the floor and then they come off at the 12 minute mark. That's when the anthem um, We just, I don't know, when we come in and we do our pregame stuff. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I listen, I, that's nothing intentionally done. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that, okay? The pathetic excuse from this coach is that, well, we don't know when the anthem is played, okay? It's not intentionally done. Now, again, does anybody really believe that? Like, you don't know when the anthem is played, right? The anthem is played before every game. Like, you know that the anthem is going to be played, and you guys have been doing that all season. You've been disrespecting the anthem all season, okay? And um, to me, to me, um, that excuse is just not going to cut it. Just come out here and say, well, we just don't want to be out there doing the national anthem, right? If you came out here and actually told the truth, right, stood on business, so to speak, uh, I would have a lot more respect for that than this cowardly, well, we didn't know. Sorry. We just happened to walk off uh, before the national anthem. Well, again, it shows you how much you actually really, again, don't respect the anthem because you didn't know, even though you do know, that the anthem is going to be played you didn't have enough respect for the anthem to, at the very least, figure out, okay, when is the anthem going to be played, right? Uh, and we got to make sure we're out there for the anthem, right? You want to make sure your team is going to be out there. So regardless, again, the excuses here are, um, you know, pretty uh, lame, okay? But it's not as lame as the victim card that is being played by Angel Reese after the game, in which you guys saw at the beginning of the video. This uh, woman claimed that she has been attacked She's received death threats. She's been sexualized. Sexualized, she says, right? In her post-game speech after losing, okay? And, uh, of course, we know why she did this. Well, she did this to avoid criticism of her and because she knew that the mainstream of media would come out here and simp for her because she's a so-called woman of color and she just lost. And, listen, no people just don't need to criticize her. You know, it's sad to me, Greeny, to, to have a player of that 
level of greatness have to deal with so much. And I was talking to SVP after the game late last night, and we have to reach a point where, and it should start with the college kids if it's going to start anywhere, where we are judging them off of their performance on the court. I know Angel Reese. I've spent time with her. She is happy to accept criticism of her game. She is happy to talk basketball. She is happy to be held to a higher standard on the court. But when the insults and, and the, the phrases that are being said to her come at a personal level, that weighs on you. We have to get to a point where we are judging performances and not judging them as people. I've seen so many things about who Angel Reese is as a person from people who have never met her and that's the degree that becomes so heavy that's what she's talking about she's not talking about her game she's talking about off the court coming for who she is as a woman and that's what has to change yeah so here we are once again right once again we have a situation where you have a woman that is trying to avoid any type of criticism responsibility accountability by playing the victimhood card and then you have the mainstream liberal media come out here and to paddle water for her in these ridiculous claims of her being some type of victim. Because rest assured, she's not a victim, okay? I mean, she's doing this to avoid people being able to say things about her, considering the fact that after last year's game, she was very braggadocious, okay? She was taunting. Uh, she would, was doing things that were very unsportsmanlike. And now all of a sudden when she loses, now, oh, I'm the victim. And I'm being sexualized, she says, right? Sexualized. But yet this is the same individual who has been putting out content on the internet that you could define as sexualization of herself. I am Angel Reese and I'm in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit 2023. I am unapologetically Angel. I am a queen. I am confident. I am strong. I am who I am. The biggest takeaway I want people to know is you can be girly off the court and still have swag and just be who you are. I mean, I embrace my body and who I am and on the court, I can still ball. I'm 6'3". I work out a lot, so I mean, why not show it? When I go to the beach or go to the pool, and everybody looking, it's like, damn, you sexy girl. Thank you. God! This is great. Wait, 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 wait. You're complaining about being sexualized, but yet when you were doing what I would define as a very sexual swimsuit photo shoot for Sports Illustrated, you were bragging about how people see you in a swimsuit and they say, damn, you sexy girl. So how does that work, right? How does that work? How is it that you're so upset about being sexualized, but yet you love when people give you compliments when you're in a bathing suit on the beach calling you sexy? Huh? Make it make sense, okay? What did they say? The math ain't mathing in this situation, right? I don't understand it. I don't get it because that's not the only video that I stumbled across because there are a lot of people that have found videos of Angel Reese sexualizing herself, not caring about being sexualized uh, when it comes to, you know, doing things like, for example, getting a mold of her vagina, right? There's literally a video of Angel Reese getting a mold of her vagina and they hold up the mold of her vagina on camera, right? For the world to see. And she posted it for everybody to see. This is what my vagina looks like. Again, I can't post it on YouTube. Okay. But I'm just saying that is out there for the world to see, but you're sitting at a press conference after you lose and avoid people criticizing you rightfully you try to make yourself to be a victim because you're being sexualized. Right? Again, this is shameful. And this is exactly why the criticism is deserved. Because when you win, you can't keep your mouth shut. Right? When you win, you're on top of the world. Okay? You're in people's faces. You're taunting them. Again, to the point where people got to ask questions about your sportsmanship. And at the time, I defended Angel Reese. I said, you know, listen, here's the thing. When you win, you know, you have the right to do these things. Okay? If you want to be braggadocious, that's fine. Okay, and if you want to stop people from bragging, if you want to stop people from showboating uh, and from celebrating themselves, then you got to beat them, okay? But when you lose, though, when you lose, 
You got to be able to take a loss. You got to be able to take that L and just accept that, hey, I lost. But again, this is how it goes. You love winning, okay? But yet when you lose, you can't just simply lose and just congratulate the other team and keep it moving. No, you got to play the big card because now, now you don't want to take that criticism the same way that you took all of the praise when you won. Because when you lose, then here comes that criticism. And then to avoid any type of criticism that she rightfully deserves, oh, well, I've been sexualized. I've been attacked. Nobody's ever attacked you, okay? I'm not saying that she hasn't received any death threats, okay? I mean, if you're a public figure, uh, it's probably likely to happen. Everybody deals with that. But to talk about being sexualized, that ain't nothing but BS. That ain't nothing but BS. You sexualize yourself. So if you're mad about being sexualized, you need to point the finger at yourself because nobody asked you to go on the internet and to post pictures and videos of your vagina and also of you in swimsuits showing your butt. Nobody asked you to do that. You did that. You chose to do that. So if people comment on it and say things to you that you don't like or that you feel uncomfortable with, that's on you. But again, she didn't care about it. She did not have a problem with it when she was a winner. All of a sudden, when she's a loser, now she has a problem with it. Even though she is the one that's responsible for sexualizing herself. But again, instead of the mainstream liberal media checking this woman, putting her in a place, telling her what she actually really needs to hear, nah, they're going to defend it. They're going to say, oh, woe is Angel Reese. Get, get paid, right? Get paid as a... Black woman, okay, playing college basketball, getting paid, living a good life. And she's a victim. She's been attacked. You can't criticize her personally. Criticize her game. <laughs> right. Again, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But, hey, you know, it doesn't surprise me because, again, this is the world we live in. 2024. You can't criticize black women. Right. Black women are not subject to any type of criticism when they win. OK, or when they do something that deserves praise, they get all the praise and glory, even if they don't do anything right? that deserves praise and glory. They get all the praise and glory. Right. They're worshipped. OK, but when it's time for them to be criticized, no, you can't do that. Right. They're all of a sudden the biggest victims in the world. And I'm sick and tired of this. OK, I'm sick and tired. Of these people claim they want equal rights and they want to be treated equally. But when it comes time for them to actually be treated equally, OK, you get Equal praise, equal criticism, okay, when you do wrong, uh, they don't want that, right? They don't want that. So, again, you know, just the whole reaction after this loss, right, uh, along with uh, them not uh, coming out for the national anthem, the LSU team, again, I I'm happy they lost, right? And at first, I was indifferent about it. I didn't really care that much. I just wanted to see a good game. But now, considering the reaction and seeing who this team is, yeah, I'm happy they lost. They deserve to lose, right? They deserve to lose 100%. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.